Google launched an AI-based ID called Anti-Gravity. What is really cool about Anti-Gravity is that it connects to your terminal, connects to your code editor, and to your browser, all from same place, based on the single prompt that you provide. It's almost like having Gemini CLI, your copilot or code assist, and an agent that can browse the web, all in one place. In addition to that, you actually get Gemini 3 Pro. It's pivotal to anti-gravity because of its reasoning capabilities. But if you don't like Gemini 3 Pro, which comes for free, you can also use other models such as Claude Sonnet 4.5 or GPT. It's all available for you to use for free. In this video, we will test out a few use cases and see whether anti-gravity lives up to its hype. All right, let's get right to it. This is how the anti-gravity UI looks like. When you log in, you can switch to an agent manager window where I have some workspaces and then there is also playground. You can choose to have conversation with either places. So what is, what, what is playground? Playground is actually an independent workspace for doing prototypes. You don't have to put your code into the workspace. You can prototype it in playground. And if you like it, you can move it to a dedicated workspace later on. This is where you start. You can add any images or context. There are two modes. Planning mode can plan before executing tasks used for deep research, complex tasks, or collaborative work. Fast mode, it doesn't really think much. It just acts. I'm going to keep planning mode. And I'm going to, so these are the different models that are available. Uh, I'm going to keep Gemini 3 Pro high. Now I paste the prompt here. It's basically build a Trello-like app with database for my personal task management. That's all I'm going to give. Let's see what it does. I expect anti-gravity to think on its own using Gemini 3 Pro and come up with a plan first. So you can see it is running terminal commands here. Let's look for based on that single prompt, zero shot prompting that we just did. It came up with a plan, it thought through it and then said define project scope. Determining the project scope for building a personal task, reminiscent of Trello. My first step is to establish a foundation. Developing technical blueprint, refining framework choice. Drafting project roadmap. And then I'm starting the project to build a Trello like app. The agent already gave me a choice to look at the implementation plan. Pretty detailed here, but the agent decided to go forward. When you log into anti gravity, you have the option to choose what level of autonomy you give to these agents. And I had, I chose agent to decide when to ask for review. So it went ahead. Project initialization. It's working on it. So it asks all these questions, but then it makes choices and moves on. Here it's asking me. I'm going to say accept. Who am I to reject anything? The DA says. The interesting thing is you can see that it You can see that you can actually work on multiple projects at the same time, right? While that happens, you can go back here. This is happening here. And uh, you can work on another project if you want. You can create an app that says, hello world. using Python. That's it. 
Now you can see there are two things going on. There is one going on in the playground, which is the Hello World app. And then there is this Trello app built. It's actually in the workspace. I expect this one to complete much sooner. Create a web page for this. So it says, please return to your chat to set up your browser extension. Thought I do have a browser extension set up. So anyway, when it asks, you can say this. Already have browser installed. So here you can see return to agent, agent needs your input, agent needs permission to act. It's asking me permission to use the browser. Well, look here. If you see this blue color here, I believe that is agent. The agent even opened the app, make this UI look like Twitter and test it out. Pairs. You can also see that it automatically navigated to the page. It tested it and it has a screenshot for us to check on how it tested. So I've successfully navigated and captured a screenshot saving it. So it basically opened the browser and saved it. Now let's go back and look at Trello app. Still coming along. So there you go, it's asking for input, let's see. Okay. Oh, here is have completed the taskmaster application. You can now run it locally to verify the functionality. I had to downgrade Prisma. Okay. All right. I want to make sure. Uh, okay. Let's click on this and see how it looks. Okay. Mm, to whatever is necessary. And for me, a link. I can open it, open and it's the taskmaster show. Cool. So here it is. New board. Not able to clean image. Urgent. Urgent. Okay, I see. Um, park or later. I like it. Done. I have these three boards. Oops, that's an error. So when I saw the error, I asked it to go and verify the app yourself following the verification steps you generated and guess what it was just magical i actually could not record that i'll run another test of it and i'll show it it basically did an automated browser verification it found multiple errors all by itself re-ran the browser verification fixed every single error without any input from me and created an app that actually worked. It gave me a verification screenshot. Now, let me ask it to verify the app again. Let's capture it this time. So, this is the verification. It actually did all of this. It's testing the 
board is getting in there and it's able to add lists pending you see this blue highlight here anti gravity has taken over the browser it's adding tasks it's even testing its ability to drag something to the other list that motion not able to do it it feels the drag and drop is consistently failing to move the card between lists but it actually works when i do it i guess it's completing it requires the best of its ability okay tested everything to the best of its ability you can see that blue highlight is gone but i'm able to drag and drop so it did its work this is amazing we can see i can go back here create a new board i have this anti gravity board which i created you can add this list product for later right there is feature 1 goes to complete feature 2 goes to product for later make an add awesome features this is exactly the app that i wanted to create and it created it and i have what i needed the ai is relentless it's trying to test it again because it failed i believe it is because it's verifying again because it failed the drag yeah it's because it could not drag the last time the ai is relentless folks it's trying again do you think it will succeed This is crazy. It says the keyboard drag and drop did not work as as expected via browser key. So it failed again. It failed again. I'm pretty sure it will try again. There you go. It's not giving up. Let's see how far it takes. It's kind of fun to watch this. It's attempting again. Let's go. Come on. Drag it. this time it's not attempting to create a new board and list it's just using the existing board see when you think about these things this is where all the reasoning capabilities of gemini 3 pro is at play the visual understanding of gemini 3 pro likely helping anti gravity perform at this level this is crazy this is crazy all right it's attempting again it's trying to drag pressed space in browser but failed it couldn't do it pressed space and right arrow to do this so how does it work It's coming up with creative solutions i think so let's see it's a screech shot it no you didn't do the job yeah well you actually did the job the ai did the job it was not able to test itself so it's trying still trying but it should be able to do it right because look at this it's actually getting frustrated it's thought processes i'm wrestling with a frustrating drag and drop bug it's not a bug bro it works are you getting frustrated yeah I... let's try again All right, it has finally given up after five attempts. I guess maybe it's a bug for the anti-gravity team to fix. 
it's not able to drag and drop an object on the browser. So that's it folks. Using anti-gravity, we were able to create this awesome Trello-like app. We tested everything. We are able to drag drop. We were able to create a board. We were able to create a list. We were able to add tasks and we were able to move them across, right? So that's all we wanted. I hope you enjoyed this demo. If you create any amazing apps, please let me know. Also think about the possibilities. What would you love to do with anti-gravity? I'll let everyone know. Thank you.